Jesus began to preach, repent of your sins and turn to God for the kingdom of heaven is near. God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for him for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. I tell you the truth, until heaven and earth disappear, not even the smallest detail of God's law will disappear until its purpose is achieved. So if you ignore the, le the least commandment and teach others to do the same, you will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But anyone who obeys God's laws and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. But I warn you, unless your righteousness is better than the righteousness of the teachers of the religious law and the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. But you are to be perfect, even as your Father in heaven is perfect. Watch out. Don't do your good deeds publicly to be admired by others, for you will lose your reward from your Father in heaven. Store your treasures in heaven where moth and rust cannot destroy, and thieves do not break in and steal. Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who will actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. I tell you this, that many Gentiles will come from all over the world, from the east and from the west, and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the feast in the kingdom of heaven. Go and announce to them that the kingdom of heaven is near. Everyone who acknowledges me publicly here on earth, I will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But everyone who denies me on earth, I will also deny before my Father in heaven. I tell you the truth, of all who have ever lived, none is greater than John the Baptist. Yet even the least person in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. You people of Capernaum, will you be honored in heaven? No. You will go down to the place of dead. For if the miracles I did for you had been done in wicked Sodom, it would still be here today. Anyone who does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. You are permitted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but others are not. I tell you the truth, unless you turn away from your sins and become like little children, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. So anyone who becomes as humble as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Let the children come to me. Don't stop them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are like these children. I tell you the truth, it is very hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. But when you are praying, first forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against so that your Father in heaven will forgive your sins too. Heaven and earth will disappear, but my words will never disappear. No one has ever gone to heaven and returned, but the Son of Man has come down from heaven. He has come from above and is greater than anyone else. We are of the earth and we speak of earthly things. He has come down from heaven and is greater than anyone else. I tell you the truth, I am the true bread that came down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will not die as your ancestors did, even though they ate manna, but will live forever. Above all, you must live as citizens of heaven, conducting yourselves in a manner worthy of the good news about Christ. Then whether I come and see you again or only hear about you, I will know that you are standing side by side, fighting together for the faith, which is the good news. Since you have been raised to new life with Christ, set your sights on the realities of heaven, where Christ sets in the place of honor at God's right hand. Think, of, think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth. He is the kind of high priest we need because he is holy and blameless, unstained by heaven. He has been set apart from sinners and has been given the highest place of honor in heaven. So Christ has now become the high priest over all the good things that have come. He has entered that greater, more perfect tabernacle in heaven, which was not made by human hands and is not part of this created world. Dear brothers and sisters, we can boldly enter God's most holy place because of the blood of Jesus. The sun radiates God's own glory and expresses the very character of God, and he sustains everything by the mighty power of his command. When he has cleansed us from, when he had cleansed us from our sins, 
he sat down in the place of honor at the right hand of the majestic God in heaven. Without question, this is the greatest mystery of our faith. Christ has revealed, was revealed in a human body and vindicated by the Spirit. He was seen by angels and announced to the nations. He was believed in throughout the world and taken to heaven in glory. Through him, God reconciled, reconciled everything to himself. He made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of Christ's blood on the cross. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And this bread, which I will offer so the world may live, is my flesh. We have a priceless inheritance, an inheritance that is kept in heaven for you, perfect and undefiled, beyond the reach of change and decay. They speak how you are looking forward to the coming of God's Son from heaven, Jesus whom God raised from the dead. He is the one who has rescued us from the terrors of the coming judgment. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined <clears throat> what God has prepared for those who love him. <clears throat> 